Hey, this is Don, Don Kryptonium. I didn't plan this video. You know, I plan to record something very different. I meant to speak about the new Minter on Stargaze. But hey, this can wait till tomorrow. Let's address something else because recently some people even asked me the questions. Don, Don Kryptonium, how about the projects leaving to Polygon? Can Stargaze survive? So I thought, hey, how about I address all of those issues? So before we start, remember, like this video. You know, it, it does help to Don Kryptonium. Subscribe if you if you watch regularly Don Kryptonium. Why you would not do this, okay? So so let's start. And, you know, the, the, the first thing, um, I, I know that some of the collections are, are moving to Polygon. We know it was Space Killies, and we know it was also Tisa's uh, collection. So you can see TSAS was the big collection. They, they, they drop actually multiple collections on, on Stargaze. They don't seem to be volume much. So I know about these two collections. Probably some other collections are moving. So I heard different versions, you know. I heard that the, they want to just diversify. I heard that Polygon maybe offers more. Some words was that Polygon is actually more decentralized. So maybe it's better there. Uh, some that it's difficult to do things on Stargate. Some of them I, I would agree with, but some of them I would not agree with, you know. First of all, if you tell me why they move into Polygon, my guess would be they move into Polygon because there is more money on Polygon. There is much bigger liquidity. So I believe in their minds, they hope they can become maybe top five collection on Polygon and uh, fight in this very competitive world, you know. I, I think it would be really, it will be difficult, you know, but winning on Polygon can bank people millions of dollars. And let's not pretend. Maybe it would be difficult now to bank millions of dollars on, on your collections. But I do believe that Stargaze has massive advantages and some of these collections simply could not tap to disadvantages that Stargaze uh, provides. So regarding the decentralization, let's 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 be open, it doesn't exist on Polygon. Polygon is one of the most centralized uh, chains out there. So Stargaze is way more decentralized. And I want to show you one tweet. It's not about Polygon, but it is about Arbitrum. I, I found some of the tweet that the on-chain governance, this is regarding Arbitrum, on-chain governance is such a joke. Arbitrum just ratified a proposal to al um, allow itself 750 million tokens to spend at their disposals. They did it despite a losing the vote. So there was some proposal on Arbitrum, they didn't pass, and Arbitrum decided to allocate tokens to themselves. First, like if you are new to Cosmos tokens, this never really happened in Cosmos. So the Cosmos culture is very different. You can see it's very different from, from Ethereum or any other ecosystem. It's all through the governance and there is very heavy governance participation and it's always respected. And I tell you something, there was the proposal where team who built the chain didn't like it. It was against them, but they, they had to follow. Right, and I'm I'm not the huge fan. I think there are massive mistakes, of 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 this type of governance. But these mistakes would not happen in Cosmos. And I mean, imagine Polygon will do whatever they want. You know, your voice will not be valid. So, a few weeks ago, there was one proposal done by the AJ from the Space Killies. You know, very successful collection, and and they actually moved to move to Polygon. So he made the proposal about lowering the minter fee, I believe, from 10% to 5%. I agree. Correct. 5% is, uh, sorry, 10% is way too high. I don't like high fees, right? And I, I know he was probably a little bit upset. The proposal passed. At first, it wasn't passing. And I tell you why. It's very difficult to play things on Stargaze because you have validators who are not collection creators and they vote. Sometimes they don't understand the implications, right? So there is no alignment between the validators or creators, but the proposal passed. Now imagine, would this same influence be possible on Polygon? I can answer for you, no. Polygon is centralized. You could never put proposal and make proposal pass there if, if not aligning 
you know, with uh, with polygon, if the polygon wouldn't decide. So I want to show that the things are more difficult and I, I see the problems because I explain to people, hey, it has to go through the governance. It has to go through the community. And many crypto people doesn't actually understand that. When I say that to them, what do you mean? Because it appears that the Web3 was following in the footsteps of Web2 while Cosmos tried to establish this governance. And it's annoying. A lot of the community members are whales. A lot of them are validators. And a lot of them are also insiders from the project. So there is issues, but it's still way more decentralized than any other blockchain that is that is out there. But let's go to some stats. And I don't want to speak of the of the market cap. You know, market cap was butter. The tokenomics on Stargaze are, are not ideal. But I, I want to see market cap as of now is $22 million. Massive community pool that people can actually get if if they would have good idea, and and I will show you also how the certain projects uh, find the success. So twenty two million dollars, just this uh, three first collections, I believe have market cap above five million dollars. And Pixel Wizards is one of the projects that came from Terra. I want to give shout out to Pixel Wizards once again. Because as, for example, some other projects that came and they felt they don't like Stargaze, right? They want to go to Polygon. We know why. More money possibility. But Pixel Wizards maybe came here and was like, hey, th these people liked me. They actually liked what I'm doing. And it's such a small chain that it allows me to maybe build more now and align around this community, right? So I'm a huge fan of Pixel Wizards and I will be supporting them because I see, I guess I see what they're thinking. I guess they are looking at this and they're like, hey, my voice matter here. I can do something. And, and actually there is proposal on chain right now, uh, upload Cosmos flip, uh, coin flip game. So this is game made by Pixel Wizards. So, this is different because it's permissioned chain, right? So it has to go through the governance. And this is this is the game that has been developed. And look, it's passing easily. Everyone voting yes. So it's not that it's shielded. You know, Pixel Wizards came from Terra. They came from other ecosystem and they finding success. So there's not many validator votes yes. Um, you know, it's it's new proposal. There will be more, but they find the success, you know, and and th there is more recently. Lonely Astro Club, right? The colonial cuts from the from the start recently was trending shrimp gang. Maybe with my help, I mean that a lot of the the little shrimps. So when I look, when I scroll down meme decks, Adora, when I scroll through these collections, you know, I, I see hey, they establish themselves. They establish their own communities. And when we go to the crypto ranking, so I wanted to see NFT sales volume, seven days, okay? Ethereum absolutely dominates with over $100 million. And Polygon is up there. So you have volume $12 million. It's insane money. Why would you move to Polygon? That might be on us $12 million compared to Stargaze last seven days, $75,000. You would say, hey, that's nothing. And I agree, look, nothing compared to Polygon, huge chain. Nothing compares to Solana, huge chain. But look at this, Stargaze, $22 million market cap, okay? And and let's see the statistics again. Uh, of course, we have Ronin Chain, we have, have Cardano, Arbitrum, all of them multi-billion dollars. But when you go lower and you go to the projects like uh, Tezos, which is still a huge chain, and, and Tezos was like known, of course, it's it's weird comparison maybe, but the Tezos, I still believe it's it might be valued into multi-billion dollars. Let's, let's have a look. Tezos is one billion dollar chain. It has 100,000 NFT volume. We have 75,000 being small chain. And we are comparable with Phantom. So when you, I love Phantom, by the way, shout out Mr. Beams, my fan from Phantom. Uh, I minted NFTs on Phantom. It's amazing. I, I think it's one of the best EVMs that is out there, right? Phantom NFTs are great. Uh, the 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 ghouls, 
goals, right? It's it's cool NFT. I really like. Phantom has 79,000 volume. Phantom is huge chain. And we, this tiny chain, Stargaze, has 75,000. Is it really bad? Because I think we are doing pretty okay. We are like, we are small chain. We don't expand globally. We have small community. But every time five new members come, it matters, right? So let's see more line ranks, right? And after that, no, nothing really matters, right? So we would actually place at the position 18 of all chains, while also being the chain number 720, right? I, I don't think we are doing bad. And, and I see these vibrant communities. And, and I hope the other ones, I know also Cosmos Ape Alliance, uh, they do some really cool apps, so I'm not going to um, get in this video, but I think you should go on the Twitter, right? And they told me they created a bot. So what you can do, you will. Um, I, I will check the bot and I will do the, the, the separate video on this, but let me introduce uh, this to you. They will make a bot that you set the price very low and someone maybe make mistake listing and you can snap it. I think it's cool. Some people would say, hey, that's bad because people do mistake. People already have these bots. So if someone make the bots and make it available to public so I can compete with these other bots, it's great. So I'm saying you can actually find success. You can build your own community and you can make the proposal. It's ne ne not everything is ideal. I tell you what's not ideal. We have 2% um, uh, 2% fair burn fee, right? So if you sell the NFT, there's 2% platform fee going to Stargaze. I think it's too much. I would like to have only 1% and maybe not even going to stakers, maybe only 1% burn. It would be better. I, I, I think the volume maybe would spike into a higher one, right? Let me know what you think. Let's compare it uh, because I was doing like... Um, Seven days when when we do twenty four hours again, you know, Phantom twelve thousand. I I think Stargaze has ten thousand for last day. It's ten thousand. It's 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 okay. It's okay. I want to see thirty days. Sorry for my curiosity, and I'm finishing. So let me know what you think of of uh, of all of that. What's the main reason why collections move to Polygon? Is it because Polygon is more decentralized? Um, is it because um, there's maybe potential for collections to make more? I don't know. You know, I'm just thinking. So last thirty days, um, and let's see what was the last thirty days on the Stargaze. 382,000, okay? So that even plays us better. Look, we would go above Phantom and above Algorand for last 30 days. Of course, we need more collections. I will I will try to help everyone. I cannot help everyone. But, but if you know me, you know I try to help, right? So with that, be like Don Kryptonium. Remember, Don Dao is out there. Hit the like button. Remember, feel free to participate in Don Dao because the Dao is all about truth, the coin you deserve. With that, Don Kryptonium is out. I gave you, I show you what I'm thinking. I showed you the pictures. What did look? You have the guidance. You know what to think. Think for yourself. Don Kryptonium is out. Till the next time.